Hey everybody, this is me. I am going for a jog slash walk this morning. It's about 7. I think it just turned 7 a.m. And um, I'm going to do a little vlogging until I get my heart rate really move. I mean, you know, pumping. And then I'm going to cut you guys off because I got to do some running. I mean, well, jogging. It's been mm, maybe about two months since I've CrossFit. Yeah, CrossFit people don't kill me. I know you guys are going to say some words if you guys see my video. But um, like I said, it's been about two months since I've worked out CrossFit to be exact. And um, it sucks. I freaking hate not working out. It really sucks. It sucks because right now, um, I don't, my husband's stationed in another area and we're, we're here in another city three hours away. And I have nobody that will watch my children. It's, I hope you guys can hear me because there's like, this is like a main street right here on the side of me. And, um, I'm just gonna talk really loud, okay? No, I'm just fine. But no, what was I saying? Yeah. There's no childcare, nobody, like I've asked a few ladies, the few boxes that I've been, you know, if we can help each other out and they kind of just looked at me like I was stupid. So anyway, I guess this is gonna be what I do until I guess I get to San Diego and my husband's there so that way we can tag team our children. He can watch them, I can CrossFit. But until, like I said, until then, this is what it is. But I'll show you like the little area that I live around. You know, it's really nice. It's a really nice area. Here's across the street. Actually, all the way over there. I literally live right across the street from the hospital I was born at. Crazy, huh? But um, it is freezing. I don't know what it is. The, you know how cold it is but it's cold my fingertips are cold but once I get to jogging I'll be fine but um yes indeed this is where I live at the housing well not housing houses but, um, anyway, oh, well, last night I went out with a girlfriend of mine and, you know, she's such a, she's such a go-getter. She's so much ambition, you know, such a great hustler on top of, you know, just everything. She has so many things that she wants to do just like I do, but it's just like, oh gosh, okay. We're good at so much stuff, how to incorporate, you know, how to get yourself out there, how to sell it, how to, you know, that is, that is one of the hardest things, you know, is starting, you know, but I just figure God will put people in your life for a reason, you know, and I went, you know, I'm I've known her since I believe we were in middle school, but we never like hung out like that, you know, but I, we knew of each other. So for God to put her into my life, and well, both of us to be, you know, kind of like reunited type of thing, there's a reason behind it. Not sure what it is, you know, but there's a reason behind it. The sun is right there and I hope you guys don't catch that I'm turning the corner from that main street back there okay well you guys i'm gonna get going but anyway like i was saying real quick she's awesome she's my one of my motivators since i've been here for the last um i've been here about almost what a month and a maybe a month and a half but um she, for the last three weeks 
I want to say she has motivated me talking it all her stuff all her um, visions and stuff that she wants to do it has motivated me and I'm just like okay you know what Maisha you can do this you can do this you can go for your dreams whatever you know because like I said in my last one of my last videos I am trying to figure out exactly what I want to be when I grow up and it's nice to know that somebody is in the same boat with you trying to figure out the same okay I gotta go I am having a hard time breathing obviously so we're gonna end this love you guys bye, -bye.